Operation Desert Storm started when Iraq refused to withdraw its forces from Kuwait by January 15, 1991. On January 16, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, President George H.W. Bush announced that the Allied offensive against Iraq had begun. With the start of the air war, the U-2's operations switched from a peacetime airborne reconnaissance program to emergency reconnaissance operations. Most of the missions were carried out by the 1704th Reconnaissance Squadron Provisional. U-2s tracked Iraqi troops in armory buildups, assessed bomb damage, and even monitored a massive oil spill in the Persian Gulf. The U-2 was able to provide approximately 90% of the Army's targeting intelligence, 50% of all imagery intelligence, and 30% of the total intelligence for the war. In the six weeks of Desert Storm, the U-2 flew 260 sorties for more than 2,022 hours, averaging over 43 sorties and 337 hours per week.